Starting this fall, all incoming students at San Diego State will be required to have the full meningococcal B vaccine. This comes after several confirmed cases on campus this past year and a deadly case back in 2014. News 8's Amanda Schotsky spoke with the father of a student who died, and she's at SDSU tonight with what he had to say about the new vaccine requirement. Amanda? Well, there have only been four cases of meningococcal B or bacterial meningitis in the last 12 months, but the condition is so rare that health officials say that is considered an outbreak. Now, the family of a student who died from the disease has been the driving force behind the new changes. Students at San Diego State University will have to do one more thing to prepare for next semester. The school is now requiring everyone be vaccinated for meningococcal B or meningitis disease. It's rare, but quick and deadly. So somebody can be perfectly healthy and then literally um, dead within 24 hours from the disease. That was the case for 18-year-old Sarah Stelzer. She had only been at state for two months in 2014 when she called her parents complaining of a headache and rash and ended up in the hospital. By the time we, we got in the car and started driving down there, we actually talked to her doctor who by then said she was now in ICU and in an induced coma. Sarah never woke up. Her doctors determined she had died from meningococcal B. You, you expect that you're going to die before your children do. So it was uh, out of left field. She's always been healthy. Meningitis can be bacterial or viral, while the symptoms are the same, ranging from flu-like to stiff neck and headache. But the bacterial form can be deadly. Most schools require vaccinations for meningitis and other strains, but since B is so rare, it has only been recommended by CSU. SDSU is changing that since it's seen four cases in the last year. Health officials consider that an outbreak. When there's an outbreak or a setting where there's increased risk, then it makes sense to uh, require such a vaccine. I think she would be proud of what we've done, and I think she'd be very proud of her school. Now, bacterial meningitis can be spread by having close contact with others. That means sharing food, sharing drinks, kissing, and anyone showing symptoms that range from flu-like to bad headaches, sensitivity to light and sound, and some develop a purple rash. Anyone showing those symptoms is highly encouraged to seek medical attention immediately. Now, you can get that vaccine at your regular doctor's office. Any students who are not vaccinated by the fall of 2019 will have a hold on their registration. Back to you. All right, Amanda, thanks.